All right, guys. So this I thought was kind of funny and interesting at the same time. I watched a little bit of this. It is a fan of Fresh and Fit who call in to give them criticism. <laughs> and they basically just say um, Fresh, which is the guy on the right, Fresh Prince here. And then Fit is Myron Gaines. Left. But basically, Fresh is useless and doesn't need to exist. I thought that this was funny. So I wanted to watch their own fan uh, make in front of them. Is I assess what I do is I assess things that need to be fixed, and from watching your show, been watching your show for a while, and uh, oh, a fan! I believe that you, he's a big fan, guys. <laughs> you could relegate Fresh's con contribution to the podcast to four buttons on your stream deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, just remember, guys, Fresh is the one doing all the networking, according to Myron. He's the one doing all the networking. But now think about it now, if you really think about it, with them getting demonetized on YouTube, maybe it's time to make some cuts. And, you know, maybe this is the guy that needs to be cut. That's my one critique. Now, if you need me to go more into that, um, I also have a book that has been already written on... Uh, Give me uh, Fresh's contribution to the show. A whole book. What I love about this is that they don't turn him off. And it makes me wonder, like, is Myron trying to keep this on for a reason? Maybe he feels like if he turns it off optically, it looks like he's a coward. Or maybe he's leaving it on as like, a, yeah, Fresh. Or Fit, whatever. Yeah, Fresh. You know what? Maybe we don't need you. It's called Why Myron Deserves Fresh. <laughs> it's spell checked by Aaron C. Poxon. I don't know who that is. I'm being serious. I've already, I've already uh, done the cover art and everything. And uh, I got like Fresh's bio on the back and stuff. It's only three pages because that's all I could really come up with as far as contributions. Uh, well, two of the pages, <laughs> one's a single page, the other one's a table of contents, and the other one's just like a double spaced uh, list of things that Fresh contributes to the podcast. <laughs> this is so funny. Why are you playing this? This is turn him off. Why do you have him on? But uh, all, I mean, things that are included on the book, you know, you got the actual body count. Um, a body there's, there's count. A lot of things on there, but why? Because he says he has a high body count. You know, I I would like to I guess propose that 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 book should definitely be out to the masses. So people that hate on Fresh, they should at least pick up the book and know his actual contribution. Yeah, which seems to be uh, a less than a page, a one double stage, double typed page or something. Okay. So what is your bottom line here? Uh, I think the bottom line here is to make fun of you guys, and you're just taking it. Please tell us. Uh, my bottom line. <laughs> well, I mean, to sell his book. Uh, I think I, I think that I would consider buying his book. I don't lie. You know the 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 fresh the hate that fresh gets. It's it's kind of it's kind of warranted. You know. Damn. Uh, I want to say that fresh, you do ride on Myron's coattails. <laughs> Damn. This is so funny. Like, listen, here, here's the thing. And I feel like in every, like, relationship, for the most part, like, in some kind of thing like this, like, one person might pull a little bit more weight than the other person. But I, I genuinely don't understand why Fresh needs to exist. I mean, he he does he just sits there and sometimes says a thing. You know, I remember the time where they, I think they had a speaker problem. This was like a year ago. They had a speaker problem. And Myron walked uh, off to deal with the speaker problem because it's his house as well. At least the last time I understand it, they're doing it in his house. And it's basically his studio. And he walked off... And he went and he had a deal with it. So Fresh, the guy on the right, he was in charge of the podcast. DJ Academics and um, Sneeko were on there. They were drunk and they started berating a woman, like horribly, to the point where Myron needs to, ap needs to apologize. And Fresh was trying to get a hold of the podcast, but he's such a weak person that he's a weak man. And I, I even, I struggle to even call him a man. That he couldn't get any control of it. So Myron had to apologize like on the next podcast. It, like he doesn't do anything. He does like what's the point of his existence? Like if you want to comp uh, complain uh compare it to Abba and Preach, like yeah, sure, Abba does more than preach, but preach still will talk. The dynamic um here, I think, is Myron uh, like Myron and, and Fresh is Myron needs a, a a guy to sit there and like jerk him off. That's what that's what this guy is. He's a fluffer. He's he's Myron's fluffer. That's what Fresh does. He fluffs Myron. Preach is like a normal dude that Abba like does content with and like Ab like people appreciate Preach's perspective. Abba does the video editing and it seems like he finds the videos, but like Preach still does like he he's necessary for that dynamic. 
so like yeah abbott does more work but like preach still like does what he needs to do you know what i mean like you can get it from preach that it seems like he does it because like he doesn't really care he has a successful career outside of it but like here what is what is what's the what's the point you know and so it's funny because i know that they're do their 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 finances are different i don't know if they're doing horribly or they can't afford their place or their studio or anything but i know that their finances are different um so um you know you can't really have a show without myron yeah you could have the show without you though <laughs> i mean all you need is like a mannequin with a black tr trash bag over it <laughs> Myron just program like four buttons the first button could be like so ladies uh, the other button could be like red flag. Uh, the last button could be like, <laughs> all right, last off of the show. Incredible. All right. I'm, that's all I'm you being got? serious. Like I just, I mean, that's, that's all you got, dude. You, you're not saying anything in response. That's everything. Why are you even sitting here dealing with it? I would have, if it was my show, I would have been like, ah, you're being silly. We're going to move on, but you're, you're dealing with it. I don't know why my, my, my announcement things aren't working, but uh, thank you so much for the $2. Iron Will 07. Papa, hurry, delete the, lo the, the lolly folder. Do it, Papa, no. <laughs> okay, you fucking wash me with me. There's a lot more, but you only want you only want me to give you one point, unfortunately. I've been on the line for like three hours. No, no, keep going, bro. Keep going. Okay. Where can I find the book? Okay, okay cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, so the porn episode that you guys did a while back. Oh, I know my you guys God. remember it. Do you guys remember it? <laughs> you were trying to help guys get off of porn? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, in that episode, Fresh was asking you guys, how do you guys jerk off? Because I guess you guys were talking about Jergens or whatever. Okay. Jergens, like the lotion? What was that all about, Fresh? Could you answer that question? What? What? Uh, okay, so no, he doesn't remember. Um, no, no, no. Because uh, well, obviously speaking, you watch episodes, so like, what did I say specifically? Okay, uh, well, the topic was about, I guess, you, you were saying something about Jergens, like the lotion. I'm assuming, like Jergens lotion, and then you said, "I like to go dry." By the way, I don't really like to use lotion. How do you guys jerk off? And I remember, um, Myron, I believe Bills was like, "What?" <laughs> I wanted to know. Oh, I guess I guess um, Fresh's uh, take a thing take was just weird. What did you mean by that when you asked that question? Like. What? Oh, it just kind of came out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I was trolling. I was, I was trolling. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about right now. You were trolling. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I expect this level of intelligence from a, a fresh and fit fans to not be able to communicate themselves. So. Um, the other thing, when you said there's no girl, um, who has ever said anything bad about fresh, mm -hmm. do you guys remember the black woman that had the pink hair, the green dress? Dude, this guy is this guy's like a fucking. This guy is the is the fresh and fit archivist, archivist. And she had some dirt on you, Fresh. It was when DJ Academics was on the show. Oh. I remember he was like, oh, I got some sh Okay, did you ever find out what that dirt was? 100%. What was it? It was trolling. What was it? it was Can nothing. you tell us? It was, 100%, it was just trolling. Everything's trolling. I love it. I made a whole stream on my channel about it, and it was nothing. Oh, uh, okay. It was nothing. Yeah, if you want it, you can watch if it. If there's really no woman that has any dirt on him, then he's never had sex with a woman before. There's absolutely no way. I just don't believe it. He was stream. just trying to get attention? 100%. It was, like, it was like an hour stream. I think that was the stream I was talking about where like DJ Academics and Sneeko were being incredibly disrespectful and Fresh was being a pussy. Um, so. But yeah, I broke it down. Okay. Wow. That's crazy, man. Okay, so, okay. Well, that was like 45 minutes of like nothing then. It, se it seemed like she really had some stuff because when the, guy, when the girl asked her like, oh, would you sleep with Fresh after knowing this information that you know, you know? And she was just like, oh, hell no. This, this can't be a fan. This guy must have, like, this guy must have used to be a fan and, like, changed his mind because he realized the podcast was shit. So that was kind of like, you know? Well, to be fair, it I could have never, been something. To be fair, I would never smash her, bro. To be uh, honest. But. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure she was married. So why would she smash her? Well, I don't believe that you, I don't believe that you did. I don't, I don't think that, I don't, you know, I mean, we, we all know you don't dabble in the dark. Uh, okay. I guess he doesn't sleep with black women. Sometimes. But. There's just no way that a guy that looks like that is really getting too much like pussy or anything. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just wrong. I mean, I, he has money, so I guess all you have to really do is pay for it at a certain point. So. Well, we also <laughs> know that you smashed a bunch of whales, and that's how you got your lay count up. Um, the the a few. thing that I guess would really like to. <laughs> you smashed I mean, a bunch hey, of whales. We all gotta you gotta slay some grunts, right? Because that number okay. up. I, I get it. But 
<laughs> Listen, I like fucking fat girls. I think they're the best, but it's funny because it's an insult to them. So it just make it just makes it funnier. Um, um okay. damn, I have a lot of stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'll take it off refresh and talk to Myron well, no, call, for a bit. Call her, Myron. No, hold on. Before we go to Myron, um, okay, go so, ahead. Go ahead. So defend your honor, sure. <clears throat> page book about me, what I do for the show, right? Um, yes, it's a in, contribution book. Yeah, uh, as far as what you do, what's on all three pages? Just so I can, I can clarify and understand this book. Because well, the, fir- the first page. Yeah. The- well, you think you'd know, man? It's your legacy. You know? <laughs> first page is the title page, which is just the title of the book. When you open the book, the first page is the title of the book. Okay. Second book. Bu- second page is the table of contents, mm-hmm. and the third page is the list of contributions that you do. And it's that it actually had to be double spaced so it could fill up the page. <laughs> This is crazy. Okay, could you list that out for me? So I think Myron's attracted to men. Men, if I never heard of and talked to him, yeah, no, he is attracted to men. That's why he hates women so much because he's a closet homosexual that like isn't allowed to be gay because his his family doesn't like gay people. Like, yeah, of course. <clears throat> well, uh, I can give it to you on it. Twitter if you like. No, no, no. Just tell me now. I'm here right now, listening, hundred uh, percent. I like listening. the idea. Just tell me what the uh, what's, what's the concept? Oh, it's a great idea. But you would love the cover art too. I want to see no, it so bad. It's like the, the black version of Myron's book, basically. Yeah, uh, but it's why Myron no, no. deserves fresh. It's it's really it's actually yeah, I like actually pretty proud of it. What's in the book? Well, I mean, it has your actual lay count in there. Your what? Which is? Fuck! I gotta build better on this fucking character. See, see, I'm not gonna give it the away. Pump, the problem is, bro. <laughs> look, look, look. I need to be funny. That's not the important part. No, call, the important call, part call, is your call, contribution to the podcast. Caller, I get it. Trying to be funny, but um, you don't know what I do. And actually, I'm gonna brag about it on the show. Nobody knows what you do. That's the thing. You exactly. Have a... <laughs> I don't even know what I do. Nobody knows what you do. Yeah, I don't get it. What does this guy do? I don't. I really don't understand it. That doesn't. It's so weird to me. T-shirt that says nobody knows what I do. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's like the best but, meme but, in the world because Calder, it's like you actually why, like you get it. Why do I have to explain what I do? You don't. But like we've heard you network. Very vague. Good for you. You know. To you. It's well. The thing is. Mm-hmm. Uh, what you do should be self-evident. What you produce should be self-evident. You shouldn't have to prove yourself to anybody. Byron doesn't have to prove anything to us. Because everything that he does and everything he says, even in that porn episode, he has some quotables out of that episode. Uh, the one thing that he said that Damn. I... I wonder if Myron's just letting it go on because he feels good. He's like, yeah, you know John what? I do, I do deserve. Remember. Thank you so much for the medium, go, brother. I genuinely appreciate that. I have a comment on that YouTube video. It says, I'm not fapping. I got to make shit happen. Yo, that shit belongs on a motherfucking t-shirt, yo. Wow. That's weird as hell, but hey. That was some fucking brilliant shit. But uh, to that point, I can't think of one quotable that you've had in three years of this whole podcast. Except, how do you guys jerk off? Oh, that's the question he asked? Oh, okay. (laughs) So it's just a weird question. Okay. That's the only thing I can remember from what you said. Wow. Incredible. What are they? Uh, Let's hear them. Quite, quite a lot, actually. <clears throat> wow. Like yeah, wh- but... Um, like what? Like, I wouldn't be able to tell you any quotable moments that I've had. Because I don't know. I don't really think about it. I use the term incredible. Um. So, like, what... Do you, you're aware of the quotable moments that you had? That's just weird to me. That, like, obviously, you wouldn't be aware of that. That's not something that you would be aware of. That's something that would resonate with the fans. <laughs> I, I do have a lot. Why? Why do you... Th- like, you don't... Obviously, you don't know that. You're saying that because you're defensive. But, like, yeah, what does this guy do? Um... Again, uh, caller, what were the four things that you said that he does? Yeah, I'm still waiting. He said he does four things. What was what was it? The four things that he does for the co- for the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he says he networks. Okay. So that's one. All right. Which that's a big that's a big contribution to the podcast. Okay. Um, I do believe that the the new studio when Myron was setting it up, whatever, he had all his hands and stuff on deck. I think Fresh was the only one that didn't actually like get his hands dirty putting the new studio. Is that true or not? It, that I do not. Ah, yes, Leviathans are gooning. That's my quotable moment. No, I don't that's know. Not that's not his expertise. What the fuck is that etymology? He put the money in, though. That's what matters. Oh, so he's a financial backer that likes to just sit there. That makes sense. So Fresh is just has money. His daddy Ooh. probably had a lot of money or something, um, and then he died or something like that. God bless him. You know, rest in peace. And uh, he gives money to the podcast, so Myron lets him go on. Okay. Yeah, I used to be on TikTok. That's a good one too. 
You put some money in. Okay. Yeah. See, that, that is what matters. I'm, because, I'm yeah. the, and me, that's and the thing. Mo, I, me and Mo I, are the I, equipment guy. You know, guys, you know what I mean? Me, Mo, and Andy. Yeah, they got the like big equipment. All the shit up with the sun, yeah. sound in the video. Like, where they yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Bill. So, like, that's not fresh and No, it's a beautiful studio. I mean, I'm not, that, that's fine. If he doesn't want to get his hands dirty. and I just don't think that there's enough. I mean, you don't have to be an expert at putting stuff together to, like, help out, right? Uh, whatever. Passion. Well, I mean, that, that's his wife. Like, at the end of the day, it, like, what I'm hearing is that that's his wife. Like, oh, he doesn't really get his hands dirty. That's not really for him. He does, like, the networking. He has the money. He does the shopping. Um, he's That's your wife, bro. You're gay. That's your wife. And that's a beautiful thing, man, that fresh and fit are married. But, yeah, I mean, you should... That's what it is. I do the shopping. Um, I don't help out to put stuff together because, you know, women, they're not doing heavy lifting. You know, I kind of show up and I just look pretty. <laughs> just kind of looking pretty here. Look at me. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then when he said that sometimes he dabbles in the dark, it's because he's fucking, he get, well, he doesn't fuck. He gets fucked by, by, by fit. So. On his end? that there is on your end. I'm not saying that he has to be you, Myron. I'm saying that he needs to bring the same type of experience that he claims that he has. Yeah. I mean, if this All guy right. has over what's a uh, thousand so what's lake the, so whatever, said, Sounds like Myron is potentially a glorified investor. Or one is you, you think you would have like more, you think you would have better advice to give on, you know, dating girls and stuff stuff like that but like you know i watch all the shows i watch the you know money mondays the wow, woman hour wednesday and all that stuff. i watch you. everything Stop the cat. um and what i notice is no it's true i watch it all um there you contribute left country he's a, that's a contribution what i can say is that yes during the money mondays fresh does have good business sense and i think that's kind of where he shines okay but i don't think that he well you know what they say women's i think uh make account for like 70 or 80 percent of the house of the household spending so he is strong on any other show no all as right so, like so a, number a one present, so you know? going through your list here you said he networks right and then what's the other three things that you said he does why are you even entertaining this guy why wouldn't you just say like oh he networks and uh does stuff with money and then, like, for the most part, he's like, he's hanging out. He's my friend. I like it when we hang out. He, you know what I mean? Good. You know, what? Like, why? Like, it's interesting how self conscious he is, where he can't just be like, yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm here. I'm part of the show. I don't always have something to contribute, but I financially contribute. I help with the infrastructure by behind the scenes, uh, you know, yada, yada. But they're so, like, he's so, there's, that's, he's so self conscious about the fact that he's not as active that he can't just be like, yeah, man, like, I, he does, he, he's not confident in his role. That's the thing that you need to, to focus on is that fr fresh, fresh, yeah, you know, they both, it's fresh and fit, two Fs, and they're both sound, look the same, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> he's not confident in his own role. That's the thing to, like, really hone in on. Because, like, this shouldn't even be a discussion unless there's some kind of an issue going on there, you know? Unless Myron's feeling like he wants more contribution or if the other guy's feeling like he needs to defend his honor, you know? Oh, gosh. Like, I really have to, like, I had to really sit down and write this book. It took me probably longer to write this bro, book than it took it me is, to write man. your book. Just say what it is, man. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Like, it took me a while. It's longer to write this book than your book. This guy, I don't know if this guy's a fan. If he watches, he ate watches. Thank you so much for the one-month medium gut. Lisa Larson, cats are cute. I agree with that. Think about it. Um, I mean, I guess he. you said that he, well, he says that he cuts the tension with his dad jokes, even yeah. though he's not a dad, but you know, he's, he's got a lot of, you know, Oh, maybe he's, maybe he's the sugar daddy. He's daddy. All right. Corny jokes. All right. Good cop, bad cop. Um, What's number three? Go ahead. I would. Yeah. Good cop, bad cop. What does that mean? Give me a second. I got, I got. Oh, is he supposed to be nice to the girls? And then Myron yells at them because he's inadequate. <laughs> he feels inadequate about himself. I don't really think about this. Okay. I didn't think I was going to actually have to give away the sauce for free. Um, That's true. As far as the, the third thing, I mean, I guess he shows up, you know, he, 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 I like that one. One of them is that he just shows up. I don't know. I mean, I think showing up is half the battle, right? That's, that's, uh, I guess, I mean, he, he's like, you know, if you guys were taking attendance, yeah, he's been there for all the shows. Like, that's great. But I mean, dude, you could do that with a mannequin and four buttons. <laughs> 
This like, is he, so I funny. can tell that he worked at Wix reading off of a script because, like, everything that he con- contributes is a repeat as far as, like, what he says. It's never, je- it's, it's never, like, off the cuff. It's always, like, it feels like it's scripted. Or, yeah, he said it so many times. It feels like he's, like, uh, what's the word? Um, just reciting something, you know? Okay. They yeah, like reading from a script, sure. All right. Uh, Okay, man. I can't say the same for you, though, Myron. I can, I can say that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Myron. I love you, Myron. You know, I, honestly, I can't think of the fourth thing. It was like something I really had to really squeeze the brain juice out to try to get it. But, I mean, I guess he's got the nice guy game going, you know? And, of course, you know, nice guy game. It's really that. It's weird that they're giving, like, no pushback. I don't. I really just genuinely don't understand why they're, they're – they're, the pushback is very little. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because I feel like if it was a woman calling saying the same thing, they would go in. If you notice, the dynamic here is that they're so much nicer to men than women because, again, they hate women and um, they're afraid of other men because, like, they're afraid of any level of pushback. Why aren't you going in? Why, why are you guys – like, if this was – I guarantee you this is a woman. Like, if you see the way that they talk to women who don't even push back, you, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Paired with money, yeah, sure. You're gonna get a lot of girls that are gonna. You All right, know, call her, call her. Are you aware? Yeah, for, look, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her. You call understand call her. that yeah, yeah, yeah. to do this show and do this production at this level requires a lot of things to be done behind the scenes, right? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So you may not necessarily see and appreciate the things that Fresh does, but we would not be here had he not been here. Fresh could be behind the scenes, though. That's what I'm saying. I think. That one show where you... Oh, is he saying that he's just not a good personality? Oh, okay. ...had um, Chris in his place, way better. Damn. Hey, y'all, I know you guys like rag on Chris, but Chris is way funnier than Fresh. Damn. Not, not Christopher. That's not even an opinion. That's an objective fact. Damn. The whole... It, but it's okay. Let, let... I wonder if part of it's that Myron doesn't like people that give him pushback. He needs to have a little baby... That just sits there and like pretty much agrees with everything that he's saying, and that's why he likes uh, he likes fit let, let or him, fresh. Let him, <laughs> job, let him do uh, forcing the girls and all that stuff. Like I get that he has his job to do, but I mean, I just I just think okay, just hear me out. This is the last thing I'm gonna say, and that's it. Okay. If you were to go solo, you could call it fit check. Wow, this is funny. I like this, bro. You know, I think that the odds of this happening are. They exist. I think that the odds of that happening exist. I know that sounds like silly, but again, they got demonetized. There's less money on them. There's less opportunity because the red pill has like shrunk. Like people are realize how fucking stupid these people are. Um, I could see them deciding to part ways, and this might be like this might be like a formative moment. What do they call it? <clears throat> Is that what they call it? formative or like a core moment? You know. Um, this might be one of those moments that like actually the uh, contributes to the breaking up of the band. We don't know. With Myron Gaines. Fit check is kind of fire. Mondays, meal prep Mondays, workout Wednesdays, weigh in Wednesdays, and fitness Fridays. Wow. This that's I'm gonna die again. This is actually going pissing me. If you ever wanted to not okay, do that. that's fine. This character that's sucks fine. literal that's fucking balls. That's fine. I, the thing is I I do think that the the hate would not be there. Well, they ain't going to be there regardless. Let's just be honest, okay? Okay. Oh. But there are some people that literally one of the criticisms earlier was saying that I'm, I would like I'm to, too loyal. What the fuck? What happened? Sorry. I said they're going to hate no matter what, bro. Literally one of the criticisms was, oh, you're too loyal. Your friend does X, Y, Z. That's the problem. I don't know what they were saying, but like he doesn't have a loyalty problem. He has an idiot problem. So Myron has this idea, and you know this based on his interaction with uh, like uh, ABBA, that if you talk to him in person, you are now his friend and you cannot criticize him. That is his weird thing. And he cries when people criticize him outside of that. Because a while ago, he had ABBA on the, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, ABBA on the, the, the show. Um, and he was like upset, like when he had him on the show. And then after that, he like, Abba kept criticizing him because he kept doing dumb shit. And then that was like this huge issue to him. And he started crying about it. So, and you don't agree with that. That's a, that's <sighs> a, the, the hate is a tenement of success. And I'm not going to take that away from you guys. What you guys have done. You're, you guys are very successful. Even after the whole cancellation, I think you guys have been more successful, but what I, what I think that you could do to make it better is just, I don't know. Put put fresh in the background. You know, if he's gonna work in the background, if he's gonna like be behind the scenes, he should actually be behind the scenes. That's just you know. 
So you wanted to see me yelling at thoughts for three hours, bro? Come on, man. I mean, that's your whole show, no? No. No. It doesn't have to be just you. It could be you and a rotating guest of whoever you want. If you want to, I mean, I know you can't have Sneeko because of the whole YouTube thing. Uh, the whole banning thing, whatever, but you can have other people that come commonly come in and rotate, whatever. Sneak on my work. He's also a beta, so. Um, but just people that actually, like, can match your energy, man. I just feel like he just sits there like a bump <laughs> on a log, man, and just he <laughs> waits to end the show. Well, I talk a lot. Damn. Damn. No, that's fine. The thing is, you got a lot to say, and I'm not saying that you, you just don't wait. You don't waste time, man. But I feel like whenever Fresh says something, it's just like, like even when my wife and I will occasionally make content and like, you know, do it. I have more to say than her, too. <clears throat> but she has important things to say and people listen like there's a reason that she's there, you know, so people enjoy like I really don't understand. Like, what does Fresh contribute? Like, OK, let's hit the stop block, you know, because we were going somewhere, but we got to like, I don't know. We have to decompress. I don't know. I don't know if we have to, man. All right. All right. That's that's all I got to say. It's actually it's actually more like hate out of love or love out of hate. I guess you could say like this show's great, man. It's great for entertainment. Um, but I just think that there are some things that you could do. <laughs> Maybe this is some guy trying to like so, like just fucking take the, tear the whole thing down in his own way <laughs> to make it better. And one thing is dropping fresh, man. But I know you're not going to do that, you know. And uh, honestly, I had a lot more points. Bro, it wouldn't even happen like that. It wouldn't be a dropping thing. They would come up with some bullshit narrative where it's like, hey, let's just like part ways amicably and blah, 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 blah. This way, Myron can still save face and pretend he's a super loyal guy, even though he literally uh, has never been loyal to like a woman before. So, <clears throat> With that first caller that cooked you guys, holy shit, man. Fresh, you're like three shades darker, man. But anyway, man, what did the first caller say? Are they just taking abuse from all their callers? This is wild. That's all I got to say. Thanks, man. Uh, you guys have a good These night. These guys. <laughs> Why are they letting themselves get cooked so hard? Like <laughs> they're giving like no pushback. <laughs> you going for as long as you have tonight. This oh, like, my God. I, I try to get on last show, the last call in show. And I, I want to call these nights uh, happy, fresh roast Friday. because that's what these have turned into. Damn, is this just an every Friday thing where they just roast the fuck out of fresh? This is awesome. I mean, you, you can call it whatever you want, call on Fridays, but I think uh, so. You so you waited three it, hours. It's always, it's always, you waited three hours to say that fresh shouldn't be a host. Well, that you should, <laughs> the, the book should come out. Why Myron deserves fresh? Because that, I think that's an important book. That, I, mean, I like how it's called Why Myron Deserves Fresh, which implies that, like, yeah, Fresh sucks, but then Myron still somehow deserves him. So it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's a book that Fresh needs to write. Or not have somebody ghostwrite it for him and have him put his name on it. Damn. All right. <laughs> I, I, dude, you hear this, like, nervous laughing? Like, <laughs> like he, this isn't funny to him. He's just upset. And he's pretending to laugh it off. It's already been written. The artwork's already <laughs> oh done. Oh my god! I, I sent it to Walter on, I think, I think on Instagram, like a while back, and I also put it on the Reddit, of course. But uh, yeah. Damn. I'm serious, man. We need to get it out because I think that's what all these haters need. They need to hear the truth. And if they can hear it from Walter, that'd be great. I don't think you guys care, regardless. To be honest with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think, I think ultimately. If you if if fresh if you can add more pages to the book to make it a little bit more you know <laughs> give it a little bit more substance because I think what people really care about is what the hell do you do you know besides ride on the coattails of the success of this show you know caller there's a book I want you to read if you get some time it's called uh okay forty eight laws of power by Robert Greene wow read that book only only fucking losers read sorry understand the fundamentals in that book. Only... I come back to the show and understand what I do. I think that is a good highlight of what I do behind the scenes and on the show as well. But understand the like. Like, if you actually did something, why don't you just explain the networking that you supposedly do? Like, why is this a whole, whole thing? Like, every time you're pushed on this, you never really. Oh, I network. Like, what does that mean? Like, yeah, I network. Like, I do this, I do that. Blah, 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 blah. I don't understand. Like, does he actually network? What does that mean? Does he go on sugar baby websites and tries to find girls to like whipping on? He jerks off to girls' OnlyFans and goes, she should be on the show. Yeah. I have a question for you. Have what? you read that book, or have you listened to it on an audio book? Both. In detail. Wow. But, uh, caller, I, read I appreciate it. You, read, you... you. read it? How do you listen to an audio book in detail? I don't understand that. Or have you listened to it on an audio book? I appreciate you giving your point of view. I have a theory about that. On you just the said show. you did both. And I, I, I like 
the funny tone and the actual book. And I wish you the best with that book. Wow, it's a super guy. Sorry. And hopefully, <laughs> you can create. Hey, your if own I'm, if I'm, I'm sorry for insulting gay people. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on. Release it, I will release it. You can create your own show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of a similar magnitude. Yeah. Well, hopefully, he can find somebody that networks for him so he can make a show successful. You know. What I mean? With your own <laughs> takes as well. Cool. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, would, I would also like to drop my Instagram. Do it. <laughs> You'd like to make fun of me. I, I have no problem. Sure. Sure. Why are you letting him plug his Instagram? This is so weird. These guys are so bizarre, dude. I don't get it. I want to plug my Instagram. Why are you letting him do this? I genuinely do not understand what's happening right now. Is it real, though? I don't know if it's real. Yeah, he's trolling. It's real. My, my Reddit name is Camp Hustle 1. My, that's on what, all what's platforms. Your IG? Camp Hustle 1. What's your IG? What? Camp Hustle 1? Is it troll? Camp what is it? Hustle 1. Camp Hustle 1? Okay. Put an cool. Instagram story yeah, right now saying this is me. Put yeah, an Instagram we, we story you, right now so, you, it's, you, so we know it's you, bro, because right you might be trolling. Okay. No, I'm not. I feel like the troll wouldn't be the existence of the page. The troll would be what's on the page. So they don't even understand what trolling is. Like, Matthew T. Super chatted $1.99. So $1.99 from Matthew T. Thanks, Matthew Papa T. Gus has spoken. That's what I'm saying, brother. Thank you so much. I'm not trolling. I don't have time to troll, man. I mean, you sat on the phone for three hours. <laughs> it's a little doubtful. You spent three hours waiting to troll just now. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is not I would a say troll, it's quite man. The this contrary. is serious that people really need to see. Man. It's <laughs> quite the contrary. You have plenty of time to troll. That's why you waited on the line three hours to just basically say, yo, fresh. I well, I was book. working at the same time. I was working at the same time. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. That's what I do. I, wor I work was, while I was that wait on. He, he networks, you know. He's networking while this whole thing is going on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fine. A lot of children photos. A lot of children photos. Lot of children photos. Kids a, photos. A you a father, brother? Yeah, those are my kids. <laughs> They're trying to make it seem like he's a pedophile. <laughs> what the fuck? A lot of kids pictures on here. I'm a dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, dude, I feel like that came out of anger. Oh, a lot of kids on here. So, <laughs> it's so weird. They're so upset. Those are my kids. I'm, I'm a dad. I've been in a, I'm in a happy marriage of like seven years. I got two kids. Why would you listen to Fresh and Fit then? They got everything they want. They just got haircuts today. Bro, you worried about another man? You got kids, bro. Yeah, bro about you kids, got a family, bro. bro. I'm not worried about you, Fresh. I'm not understanding. I'm, I'm worried about improving this show. And he's insulting. He's a fan of you guys. You're insulting him because he has kids. I mean, I'm surprised that a man with kids would ever watch this show because these guys literally cannot give you actual like relationship advice other than like, hey, have lots of money to fuck girls and maybe get them drunk first. Like, because just keep in mind that these guys don't really drink. But they do hang out at bars, right? Because like they 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 have um, that's what they do. They hang out at bars and they wait for women to get drunk and then they hit on them, right? Um, that's what seems to be the case. So <clears throat> let's not put, let's not put it up because he has kids there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 don't put it up. We're not gonna put that. We're not gonna put it up. You have your children there, so Girl. okay. Okay. No, Very nice. No, I mean, that's, that's fine. Yeah, we I, don't. I just I have no idea why it's not reading this stuff. Thank you so much for the two dollars uh, poking. They should get Camden and Gerard Davis on the show. That's what I'm saying. They'd be they probably really like that guy. Thank you so much for the five dollars from D Boy. Love your content. Working on my gut. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing. But thank you so much. I appreciate that. The working on the gut part, maybe not so good. You know what I mean? I'm working to get rid of the gut. I mean, I'm in some of those pictures children, so you guys can see. I'm I'm six five, you know. Damn. One ninety five. It's probably is this even his actual page? You know, relatively fit. Maybe you're here right about the troll. Uh, the thing is, I, I, I uh, relatively fit is, I guess, relative in this case. Damn! Thank you so much for the two month small gut beast, the beast Billy Papa. You got to watch Nick Cry video soon. I don't know, maybe we'll see. Um, that's fine, bro. That, that uh, thanks for. Is it alpha to take a beating from another man? Fine, again with your criticism, like I said before, we don't want to put your Instagram on because you have your children on there. Yeah. Um, thanks, and Obviously, it's for it's for. No your, worries, yeah. man. No worries. No worries. So, no worries. Yeah. Hey, but thanks Beautiful for your time, style. guys. I appreciate you. All right. <laughs> wow. Uh, so yeah, we just watched them uh, allow themselves to get disrespected for you know a period of time. So God bless them. Um, <laughs> why they let them do that? I couldn't even tell you.